Welcome team all in. Thank you for joining us tonight on our business training. There's a couple of, of messages that I'm going to be sharing with you here this evening that I'm hoping are going to just help you um, just understand, um, you know, sometimes we have challenges and sometimes it depends on our mindset and how we think and how we focus and how we feel. And this message um, actually is, is a great little intro before I, before I bring on the next video. So let's have a quick listen. This is the day I'm in it with Maxwell. Sarah Carter from Simpsonville, South Carolina gave me the word on minute with Maxwell today, which is insight. Okay, that's a that's a a little more difficult word to talk about, but I I can. Uh, insight means you're on the insight of something that is visual. You you see it, but you don't see it just from the outside. You see it from the inside. You get insight inside. What does that mean? It means you live it. There are several people that can see things from the outside and observe, but when you see things from the inside, it's who you are. It's, it's how you live your life. So insight has a tremendous amount of intuition, of course, but it has a tremendous amount of credibility because you've been on the inside and the insight that you have isn't someone else's. It's not from hearing someone else or living vicariously through someone else or their experience. It means that you have been inside yourself. And the insight that you have isn't borrowed. It's believed because you were there. What's that mean? That means credibility. That's huge. That means that, that, means that what you see is what really is. That's insight. I'm glad you joined us today on Minute with Maxwell. Well, I thought that was a kind of a, a cool little um, um, intro to uh, what we're going to be talking about, especially um, listen to Jamie. So I'm just going to try to pull this other um, slide up. Give me one second. I'm hoping it's still here. Yep, it is. All right. I'm getting better at this, guys. <laughs> okay. Um, can you see the slide right now? You can see Jamie? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Yes. I'm going to make the screen full. And uh, we're going to listen to, um, this was her training she did on Friday for the Wisdom Builders. And uh, this was Joan's idea to play it uh, this evening um, because I, my, I've listened to it a couple of times. And I think this is something that we can definitely have a, a discussion around. So let's have a listen. Well, thank you. I am like super pumped to talk to everyone today. Um, I got my hype girl in the corner right here. So hopefully she's quiet. Say hi to Miss Rella. She's like got FOMO all the time. Um, I'm going to share my screen. And uh, yeah, I'm super pumped to be here with each and every one of you. Did everything did it go good? Sharon, right? Yeah, good. All right. All right. Well, happy Friday, everybody. I am super pumped to chat with you guys about a topic that I have been leaning into a lot lately, and that is building your business through finding the problems. Uh, now, you might be thinking, okay, Jamie, we definitely don't want problems. And uh, yes, yes, you do, my friend. And my purpose behind this training is going to help you sift through why. So I want you guys to grab your journals, keep this super interactive in the chat, and uh, we're gonna get started. Okay, so I'm going to break the problems apart and then I'm gonna bring them back together at the end for you. So I'm gonna start with the P, okay? That's gonna be all about prioritizing people. You know, don't you love that the fact that we're in this business and it is a relationship business? I mean, how amazing is that? We get paid to impact people and prioritize their goals, right? Well, how do we do that? We do that by communication, right? Asking great questions, leaning into the hope that they're looking for in the honest words you say, and then taking inventory of what is actually moving the football down the field, right? People want to be seen, they want to be heard, and they want to feel like you're not just in it for your next sale. You know, take a step back and ask yourself, why am I sharing with this person? 
is it truly because I want to change their frustrations in their life? Or is it, I'm just trying to move products into their life with the next mentality, right? And don't get me wrong. Yes, we build this business by moving product into people's lives, but I don't want, or I should say, but if we don't move them emotionally in the process, we're not going to move products, right? I believe that all sales in life, no matter where we're at, are a transfer of emotions. And people will always buy you and your words before they ever buy your products. And here's a quote um, I got from John Gordon. He's an excellent author. If you've not picked up any of his books, I highly suggest the Energy Bus, really great one. Um, but here's a quote. Communication builds trust. Trust generates commitment. Commitment fosters teamwork. And teamwork delivers results. So much can fall through the cracks when there is a lack of communication. So making it a priority to build the relationship is always going to be key. So that's going to bring me to the art, right? Being real, but relevant. Friends, we can't even get into this one if we don't prioritize the conversation, right? Matching the story to the person is going to be key so that they can catch their hopes in your words. You know, think about it. If, if someone's looking to lose 40 pounds, I wouldn't lead with how I increase my back squat by 65 pounds in 90 days. I mean, they'd be like, okay, great for you, <laughs> right? I would tell them based on what you shared and based on what I know, I believe we can totally crush your, your goals together. You know, I just helped my brother drop 40 pounds in five months and he feels absolutely amazing and tells me all the time how simple my plan is. Would you like to know how my program works? Right? It's a simple yes or no. Um, and all I am is offering a solution to the problem that they just told me they had, right? It is absolutely that simple. And if they say yes, I would always lead with awesome. You know, I have a quick video I can send you. Use whatever tool that you're using, right? Uh, best part, the results that you're looking for are featured in this video. And I have a few errands to run. So I'm going to check in with you in a couple hours to hear your thoughts, to see if your goals and my coaching is what you're looking for, right? And then key here, remember to follow up, like setting that expectation of the follow-up is so important. Think about it this way. They just caught their hope in your words, right? They want to know how this program works. Now it's our job to catch them in their excitement in the now, right? With hope that knowing that if we don't do that, that hope that they just caught can quickly get taken away with the curveballs of life. And then they forget right? And then you come back a week later, oh, oh, what'd you think of that video? And then they completely forgot all the emotions that you pulled out of them because too much life has gone in the way. Does that make sense? Right? You know, don't forget to follow up to see if your coaching and our products are what their goals are looking for. This is and always will be about what is best for them. I stand firm on that with everyone that I talk to. Um, and I love to associate that with that Zig Ziglar quote. Like you can have everything in your life that you want if you will just help enough other people get what they want. Lean into that, my friends, and always think others first. Always going to be overview obstacles so that you can jump over them, right? It is that simple. If we don't have an honest conversation on what we've tried in the past, what gets in our way, and what we truly don't like, don't want in our life anymore, then going after our goals with our fingers crossed, hoping the outcome is different this time around, like we can't fingers cross our way there, right? You gotta have a purposeful plan to get there. And I can go into so many different directions with this particular topic right here, you know, within ourselves, within our business, within the people that we have the honor to coach, pulling those obstacles out of their way and letting them know, hey, we got you in life, but like in so many different directions, okay? Obstacles are what set our needle moving tasks, okay? And that allows us to create a plan to jump over them. The problem is though, without taking that honest look is we can't take the ownership by doing this is what created this thing in our life, right? And if we always do what we have always done, we'll always be where we are or worse, <laughs> not good. Right. So I want to challenge you in your thinking really quick. If you are not driving a car, you can totally participate right now. OK, so I call this connect the dots obstacle. I'm going to set a timer for 30 seconds and I'm going to let you know when to start. 
And here are the rules. You got to draw three rows of three dots, just like you see right there. And you can do that right now and then pens up where I can see them. And your cameras, a lot of your cameras are off from what I can see. I can't see everybody. So hope, let's, it's the honest thing right here. So draw these dots. Let me see if I can see everyone. How do I do that? Okay, I see Erica. All right, Erica, you are in. <laughs> draw your dots. And then when you are done drawing those dots, pen up so I can see. And then we're going to go ahead and get started. And I'm going to tell you what you have to do. Awesome. Thank you so much, Erica. I appreciate you. There's Julie. All right. Here is the rules. Okay. We just draw, we just drew three rows of three dots, right? And the objective of this is to connect all of the dots by drawing four lines without lifting your pen off the paper at all. You can only draw four. You have to connect all the dots together and you cannot lift your pen off the paper. You guys got it? Thumbs up. Everyone have the rule? Yes. Okay. I'm going to set the timer. You have 30 seconds. Okay. Go. No lifting your pens up. You guys got 10 seconds. Time. Pens up. Did anybody do it? Did anybody? No. No, nobody did. Oh, my timer's still going off. Okay. I have no a worries. question. Yeah. <laughs> Can we retrace our lines? Um, no. Great question, though. <laughs> All right. I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. Okay. I want you guys to draw more. Get your dots, fresh dots, fresh rows, and I'm going to walk you through this, all right? So first line we're going to do, put your pen on the bottom corner, draw it all the way up, okay? Then you're going to take that line and you're going to go all the way past that other dot, right? Then you're going to take and you're going to connect those other two dots and you're going to go past that dot. Then you're going to swing it back in and connect the rest. Right, all the dots connected by drawing four lines without lifting the pen off your paper. There is my magic trick for you all today. See, sometimes we put limitations on ourselves and we create rules that aren't even there. I didn't say you couldn't go past a dot, right? So we don't always think outside the box or open up that curtain on what can be because we're so caught up on what is. The lesson in this is to simply stop putting roadblocks on our better future. Right? The obstacles are not the problem. It's not finding a way to jump over the obstacles that are. I always love that one. All right, B is pretty obvious. If you know me, have ever heard me speak, you know what B is all about. It's about that bold belief within yourself, within your yes, and within others. It has to be rock solid 100%. And if it's not, we need to take a step back, go after, uh, go back to reviewing those obstacles and finding a way to jump over it, right? The products, my friends, well, that's going to be the easy part. That's always the easy part. They're, they work every time we put them in our body. They're proven, proven to do so, right? Neo Life has a 100% belief in what they stand for, and they put a 90-day 100% money-back guarantee behind all of their products. And they also believe in the business model they choose to distribute their products through. And that is through all of us, the difference makers like you and I, right? So I want you to put this perspective on. Try it on. Let's see how it feels. What if you view Neolife as a vendor, but you, my friend, are the company? You're the brick and mortar. You're the face of the business. You were the one walking in the doors. You're the one waking up early. You're the ones opening your doors, taking care of the customers that walk in. And you are also closing down the store at the end of the night, hitting the pillow with feeling fulfilled in your passion. And then you're going to wake up tomorrow, do it all over again with a smile on your face because you truly believe that you will change the world of everyone you have the honor to lock arms with in this business, right? In health and for those that see it more than that, finances, right? Wow, I mean, that's got to feel big, right? Bold, life-changing, doesn't it? And it is that. 
we are ridiculously in control mentality that Daniel spoke about last week, right? I love that. If you didn't catch that Lizzie McClee last week, I highly suggest you go back, press play. It's going to be like windshield wipers for your eyes to see a vision past what, what you once believed. Like 10 out of 10, recommend. I love our Fridays. They add so much value. So back to this point, though, we pair people with what we believe can impact their life. Is that what we're doing? Or are we pairing them with what we believe they're going to say yes to? If we're prejudging, we need to check our own lack of belief at the door. Are you worried that they're going to have an objection of price? Well, that, my friend, is just a discrepancy of value, right? People afford what they value, period. And think about it. The next time you go into a restaurant, does that waitress tell you what you're going to order for lunch? Or do they tell you what the specials are? They give you the menu and ask you, what can I get you today? Right? It's all about perspective, right? You are the company, right? You are always building your own house and belief is the key to how you unlock and lead every conversation. Because how you feel about what you say is more important than what you say, okay? People are driven in this business by two things, their own purpose, okay? Or other people's noise that allows them to get in their own way. And 100% rock solid belief or 99% belief is gonna make a one degree shift that can put you on a completely different path in your business. And that 1%, it might not sound like a big deal, um, but it is. So 100% rock solid belief. L is gonna be about leveraging the line. What do I mean by that? Leverage your line, leverage the product line, leverage your business line, right? Well, first, let me talk and break down your line. You have to like draw that in the sand, okay? Have you drawn that yet? You know, what line in the sand do you have in your life? What do you want in your health and in your business? And what are you choosing to do about it each and every day? You know, your personal story is the best selling book you will ever write. It's what's gonna cause people to pick your book up, read the title, skim the chapters and decide if they're gonna buy the book or not. I always say that I am a walk the walk, I talk girl. I take a lot of ownership in that. You know, if we wanna lose weight, lose it. Mic drop. If we wanna gain muscle, gain it. If we are broke the day before payday and $100 can take so much financial pressure off our shoulders, do you know? Do you know how many products need to leave the warehouse to make that a reality in your life? If you're brand new, what do I have to do? Do you know that answer? I'm going to tell you in case you don't. <laughs> four Neoship Club members, four weight loss solutions, leaving the warehouse is $114 in your pocket, my friend. And that's only unlocking 5% of the sales volume bonus, leaving 15% potential profit on the table. And as a leader, let me tell you something. We want that profit in your pocket, not ours. Because if you move those same four weight loss solutions as a director, did you realize that that is $259 in your pocket? That's a big difference, $145 left on the table, okay? That is two and a half times more the relief than that $100 value, okay? And if you believe that our products can change lives, let's talk about the financial pressure off people's shoulders and talk about changing the landscape of their lives. Like we have two products here, products, and the business. Let's not forget about both. E is about empowering, encouraging, and doing that with excitement. We need to lift up people in their hope and speak what you believe to be true. Your tonality goes so far, my friends. It goes a long way with everyone that you talk to. And here's what I mean. Yeah, I mean, I believe this can help you. You're, you know, the products, they're proven. Uh, they're whole food, beyond organic. They've made a real difference in my life. You know, no doubt you love them. Blah, right? I mean, or what if I came at you with like, oh my gosh, like I believe this can so help you. Our products are proven. They're whole food. They're beyond organic. They have made such a difference in my life. There is absolutely no doubt you're going to love them too. I mean, what's more exciting, right? 
you, you got to come at it with your belief though, right? People are going to buy two things here, vision and passion, but they're going to notice your confidence in what you're saying. So I hope that was helpful. Um, M is going to be all about forming that moving message. It has to be meaningful to them, period. Asking great questions, being an all-star listener, leaning into furthering the whys of their answers. Like if they told you they want to lose 50 pounds, we need to like peel the onion back, okay? Say something like, awesome, you want to lose 50 pounds? We can so do that. May I ask you, may I ask you, very important, may I ask you why that is meaningful to you? And listen, right? Keep peeling it back because the more real you make it for them, the more of a difference maker they're going to see in you and what you have your hands on. Because people don't ask great questions anymore. You ever notice that, right? This is going to help you gather your words, pair them properly, and share the story that their hope is sitting in, right? It might not be yours, right? It might be some, it might be Dwight's, it might be Chakota's, okay? We need to know these stories. This is what is in our arsenal, in our, in our back pocket that we can pull out and be like, oh my gosh, yep, let me connect this story with this person's hope, and bam, we have solutions, right? It's what I want you to remember in this is moved people move, right? Moved people move. Remember that. And before I show you the yes, I want to ask you this question. What do problems need? And if you know, or you think you know, drop it in the comments while I create a dramatic pause. I can't see the comments, so uh, I guess we'll end the dramatic pause and I'll let you know. Problems need solutions. And get this, my friends, that is what we sell. We sell solutions. Proven solutions, might I add. And the one thing about solutions to know is solutions need problems just as much as problems need solutions. It's like peanut butter and jelly here, right? When you take the time to prioritize people, be real but relevant, overview the obstacles, lead with bold belief, leverage the lines, empower and encourage everyone you have the honor to share with, with excitement and have a moving message, sales just turn into the solutions that they genuinely need. And that, my friend, is something we can lay our head down on the pillow at night and be proud of the difference that we are choosing to make in this world, right? So with that, I want to appreciate your time together. I want to let you know that I absolutely love our Fridays together. No matter if I'm bringing the training or I'm taking it in, this is a high value time that I look forward to every single week. I want to thank you for allowing me to share some perspective with each and every one of you. I hope that this has brought you nothing but high value that you can apply to the now of your business. And how to figure out how to get rid of this now. Give me one second. Look. So I thought that was a pretty awesome message. Um, and every Friday, the Wisdom Builders does um, um, a 30, 30 minute, sorry, session at, at noon, every Friday. And uh, I usually hop on. Anybody else hop on the Wisdom Builders sometimes on the Friday? Um, and she even, yeah, I know, I know you're on there usually, Jen. Um, and uh, what's really cool about uh, about that, they keep them on so you can scroll down, go back if you've missed some and just see what the topics are. You can go back and listen to them. And uh, Jamie's uh, message. And thanks, Joan, for reminding me about how powerful that message was on uh, on Friday, because, um, you know, <laughs> looking for the problem and, and and knowing that we're the solution and we have a solution, but it's it's really how you talk about it. And I love the example when she talked about, you know, how she had something to help somebody. And if you don't have that enthusiasm and that excitement when you're sharing, there isn't, if you don't say it like you really believe it, then you know what, then they're, they're gonna kind of get that same, same feeling, right? Um, and I love that when she used the, the analogy of weight loss because so many people are struggling and they wanna lose weight, but if they don't 
feel that you believe they can do it. Um, and if you can't set that example, you being an example, especially if you're doing the Proven 33 or if you're, you know, whatever you're doing, you need to, to, to be an example and share, you know what, I did it. And she even said it, I lost 60 pounds in five months. And right, and she just like, I know you can do this. It's clinically proven, beyond organic. Let's do this together, right? So it's how you, how you say it. We have a solution to help people. Any other messages that you got in any of her um, kind of, got, she had lots to share tonight. So let's have a discussion around some of the, some of the messages that she's, anybody take any notes? You can unmute yourselves. I, like, oh. I missed the first part of it. Unfortunately, I got home late. Um, but what I struggle with, I think sometimes I've never been that person that need to lose a ton of weight. And I feel like some people think, well, how would you know what it's like? Because, you know, you've been thin your whole life. Right. You don't know my issues or whatever. Now I have people that like just love my enthusiasm and love, you know, that I'm into health and fitness and I encourage them to do all that kind of stuff. But I think on the other side of it, I've got um, people that are heavier that maybe think, well, she doesn't have a clue what it's like to be overweight and have all this. So how, I don't know how to. Oh my that. gosh. I, since I've been involved with this company, I've met so many people. I've seen so many success stories, you know, and my mentor, Nada, she's been in this industry for 35 years. You should see the people that she's helped and just say, I know, you know, my, my issue or my problem has not been a weight challenge. Um, you know, mine is more staying healthy and feeling young and aging gracefully. But what I saw when I saw these people, their before and after, and what was really, really powerful was they've kept the weight off five years after, 10 years after. That's what I'd like to share with you. So use other people's stories. You can still carry that enthusiasm, that excitement, but it's just how you say it. And don't be afraid to say, you know what? No, you're right. I don't struggle with weight. But boy, I've seen people lose an incredible amount of weight they've kept the weight off and mm -hmm. this is what i'd like to share with you okay because okay. i just like i i run a wellness program at my work and a lot of them are overweight and a lot of them look to me because they see i'm thin which mm -hmm. in my opinion doesn't mean i'm healthy just because i'm thin i could be super unhealthy and still be thin and that's why i try to get and someone could be healthier than me and be heavy so we have those discussions but I just, right. you know, struggle with that a little bit. And so. just ask them, how, how can I help you accomplish your goal? What would mm -hmm. you like to accomplish? Find out what they want. And okay. then sit down with them and say, you know what? I, I know I can help you. I can work with you on this. And if you need to bring me in like a third party, that works very, very well. I've done that with a few, few of you here tonight where they'll call me because it's not coming from you. Mm -hmm. okay it's kind of like it's kind of like when when someone goes to their mom you know when the mom tells a child that they should be eating something and doing something but then they go to the other mom or their a, a friend of theirs and they tell them the same thing and they go oh this person so and so told me this and mom's like been telling you that for years right so it's yeah so it's kind of like that third party credibility so kind of the same thing okay that's that's my husband all day long i tell him i'm like you're married to a nurse i'm telling you what to do and he just Whoa. And some I random know. stranger says something. He's like, oh, yeah. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Perfect example. You got it, girl. You yeah. know, okay. you know the challenges, right? Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. For sure. Okay. Awesome. Um, somebody else was going to say something? Uh, Joan? I like that what you said. Share the story. Um, share the story. Their hope is sitting in. Share the story. Say that again. Sorry. Their hope is sitting in. Their, their hope is sitting in, yeah. And whatever story, it does not be yours. It's the same it's the example. Yeah. You don't have weight to lose, but share that story. And that's where their hope, the hope for that person is in that story. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. Excellent. Thank, Thank you. you. I have Anybody something help? here. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, this afternoon, I had a, my friend who came over. We had a, like a one on one. And um, funny thing is, we were talking. And I said, I could ask, call my friend, I mean, you, to, you know, if you have any questions and whatever. She says, no, no. I go, I looked at her and I said, no. She goes, yeah. She says, 
because I know you believe in the product I, and the way you talk about them, I believe you. So I don't need to ask any more questions because I believe you. Now I'm going to talk to my husband. This is a husband that she's talking to uh, about, right? And and it was kind of neat because um, she's, uh, you know, she's been hearing me talk about, you know, the stuff that I've been through my on my health uh, journey. And she said, no, I believe you and I believe the products. There you go. So it's it's that bold belief. So I thought kind of uh, kind of neat when Jamie was mentioning that, right? So, yeah. Excellent. Anybody else? Uh, Sean just messaged me and said she's going to listen to this again. <laughs> Actually, it's funny uh, you say that, Sean, because like I said, I've listened to it a few times and you you catch different messages. Yes. Oh, Heather's got her hand up. Go ahead, Heather. You can unmute, hon. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I like when she was talking about the excitement <clears throat> and catching them in their hope, like the emotion of the hope in the moment, because it's also oh true. You know, I've been talking to someone, we, we really connect, everything's great. Um, and then, you know, we, we're going to connect later, or, or somebody at the show, for example, we get really connected and then following up and who simply having a hard time connecting with people, you know, their line is busy. I send them an email. They don't get back to me or we arranged to meet. No, that doesn't work. And so with one thing and another, it goes into days and days. And you know that by the time you actually get to speaking with this person, that excitement has got, like really gone down. Mm -hmm. And to try to rekindle it is hard because it gets stale for me, you know, trying to keep that excitement and the, the fire in the passion. It's really hard to go back to it because already it's an old story. So that's what I find difficult about that. And sometimes, you know, it's not for lack of trying to follow up, but it's very difficult sometimes to get that connection we made. Yes. Yes. And it's almost like sometimes you have to not fake it, but you have to like remember bringing that back again when you're having that conversation again, right? We have mm -hmm. to kind of put put that kind of into our mindset, thinking, "Okay, hey, gotta say this enthusiasm and excitement." And 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 you're right, Heather, because sometimes I think I was talking to Tracy how you've been talking to some of these people over and over and over again, and you know they say they're interested and then they back off and then you know they don't come, they don't follow through or whatever. But it you just got to keep that excitement going every time you see them. Just keep mm -hmm. it going and and uh, yeah. keep sharing and and uh, don't give up because remember we were saying any from eight to eight to twelve um, times that you connect with somebody or share um, sometimes it takes that many times for them to come on board. So you'll you'll yeah. find this and as long as long as the as go ahead. as long as they're still saying oh yeah I'm sorry I missed let's let's try another day or whatever as long as they're still staying open then. Um, it's my job to to keep going back. Otherwise, you know, I've been the unreliable person if I don't do that. So, you know, we have to we have to uphold our part of the bargain, which is to sure. deliver what we say we'll deliver whenever that happens to be. Excellent. Thank you, Heather. And Tracy, you were gonna add to that? So this is crazy. I've been playing this cat and mouse game with my husband's partner. And I take him this. So my husband works like his shop is right down, the, like down the driveway from our house. Right. So he walks to work every day. So when I make my shakes in the morning, I will take him one and I take the, my husband one as well. And he's like, Oh my God, these are so good. I'm like, so I tell him about it. And then I was like, I gave him samples, take them to your wife. They're both overweight, um, need to lose some pounds or whatever, but I don't really say that. I'm like, try them out. Tell me what you think. They're super good for you. I explain everything. He has been on my site probably 25 times, 25 times. I get notifications every time. So I send him emails. I was like, Hey, do you have any questions? What are you thinking? I come down, I bring him another shake. Here's another flavor. What are you thinking? What can I help you do? Like, I, I don't even know what else to do now. I'm just like, I, go not doing anything right now oh I'm my like, god maybe I'm he just so just so you know what i'm so excited i gotta show you some of these before and after pictures you gotta come and take a look 
you know, if, if you really want to get started, are you ready? Are you ready to start? Show, show them the before and after pictures. Say, look, look, is this, is this kind of like what you're, what you're hoping for? Would this be something that you'd like to, to try to do? I could help you. We can work together. You won't do it alone. The support is amazing. I've like said, like pretty much all that I did not show them before and afters, but he's on the website. I know he's seen them. Like, you I'm know not what? talking once or twice. I'm talking like 25 times. Yeah. And you know what, Tracy, you have to remember that sometimes people are afraid to make that commitment because they know yeah. it's not like a one-time thing. It's they have to make a commitment and he's probably like thinking and fixing to get ready. Right. Joan, you were going to say something. If, if she's getting, giving him sh a shake every day, why, why buy it? Why buy it? No, no. <laughs> Well, it's not every, it him? Not every day it's not, not every it's probably in the beginning it was probably once or twice a week I'd be like oh you know this is what I've been taking since like November you need to try this this is awesome and he's like oh it's not so bad and then the next like week I'd give him a different flavor what do you think about this oh yeah I like the other one better okay and then I'd mix it with different things but at max it was like twice a week I didn't want to get crazy like I get what you're saying I get what you're saying <laughs> Um, I didn't want to give away too much. And then sometimes like his car's right out here. So I'll throw like a pill pack and I'll send him a message, be like, Hey, I put pill packs in. I take this every day. It does A, B, C, D. Tell me what you think. Nothing. But then he goes on the website again and again and again. And finally I was like, listen, if you do anything, just order the pill pack, just order the pro vitality and see where it goes from there. Do this for you and Sue, right? This is why. Start here and tell me, tell me what it does for you, because this is what it's done for me and my family and my friend and like everyone that's joined me, right? And then cricket. <laughs> let him know, let him know that you know that he's on the website, that he's looking, if he's been looking okay. that many times. Okay. And also, what I like in the beginning, um, I like to ask, do you have any health goals? Or is there an issue that you have? I like to establish that first, as opposed to just giving them all the information that we have. We have well, a lot the, of great information. Right. So exactly. He, he actually told me, because he knows I'm a nurse, he knows I'm a health coach. He's like, Tracy, I need to lose weight. Hello. Uh -huh. I have something for you. So ask him. So remember, remember you told me you wanted to lose weight. How serious are you? What what are yeah. you waiting for? Because he told you, if he hadn't told you, then, you know, you'd be assuming, right? He wants to, but just remind him that he told you. Okay. Told yeah. You. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. And, and I like to go Sorry. back to, I like to go back to Lynn's line that she asked me because I obviously had an interest too. And you can say, obviously you're very interested in this and you've told me that you have a goal. Mm -hmm. What's stopping you? What's in the way? Right. Okay. What's yeah, stopping you? What's in the way? What's stopping you? Okay. And just because, you know, you can just take, take the pressure off, say, look, may, Hey, maybe you're just not ready to do anything with this. That's fine. I'm not going anywhere. You know where to find me. Just kind of take, you know, take the gas, the gas pedal off, <laughs> put off the, okay. the, the gas and, and leave it in his court. Um, as Ashley likes to say, leave them with their dignity. So, you know, Hey, I'm, I'm here for you whenever you're ready. Um, if something's in the way is there something I can help you with um okay. you know maybe you have questions and you don't want to ask me that's fine you know <laughs> and we're we're friends too I mean like I said it's my business partner my husband's exactly. business partner and we're we've been friends for years so I just find it weird and like you said maybe he, he's just not ready to take that step yet and his wife yeah. um yeah. But yeah, okay. I'll try. I'll try those things too. Thank you for yeah. And the help. husband and wife, the jo jo John and Jen, was it John and Jen? The husband and wife. Yes. John, after John and Jen Winters. That's, yeah, John and Jen Winters. That's a beautiful story, okay. where mm -hmm. you can you can share. Okay. You know, this couple did it, and then joke around and say, "Look, the wife lost more weight more weight than, than the guy did," and that that never happens. And and That's he true. was so mad. And usually, it's the you know. The, the woman is usually mad because the guy usually loses weight. Just make kind of make a fun of it. So you can have a competition, you know, with your wife. Wouldn't, wouldn't that be fun doing it together and just make it fun and right? So okay. that'd be kind of fun. Okay. 
Cool. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. When you're handing in a shake, do you ever say, this is a meal replacement? Like you're not just giving them a shake. You may have already had breakfast by the time you give them the shake. But mm -hmm. I don't think people always connect that the shake is a meal replacement because they don't know how the shake is going to help them. It's going to help them because they're going to have protein first thing in the morning, hopefully, and it's going to help them lose weight because we have all that evidence from mm -hmm. Dr. Dr. Liz Applegate. Big protein I, talk. I don't think technically I've said that. I've said, this is what I do. Because they've always made comments, you stay so thin, you're older, you always look healthy, blah, blah. I'm like, well, lately I changed my protein powder out. This product is superior to anything I've ever taken. This is what I've been taking since November. So I'm sharing it with you because I got my husband on it. He loves them and he's picky, like beyond picky. And he loves them. And I'm like, you know, if Jay likes it, that it's kind of saying something, right? Like, so this is what we do and what he's been trying to do every day. My husband's not perfect, but by far, um, but trying. And um, so that's what I said. It's like something I do. This is my breakfast, but maybe I'll use that term too. This is a meal replacement, mm -hmm. you know, and go from there. So, okay. But again, asking the question though, I think is important. Like Joan said, it's just, what is your goal? You know, how can I help you? Are you ready to get started? Okay. Let's do this. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Leonie. Okay. I have a real problem here. Remember um, the guy that we met, or met a bunch of guys at the event. This is the guy I bought that angel from. Mm -hmm. Okay. So he says, yeah. So he filled up this form. He said he wanted to know about energy. It's really confusing this man. So I said, okay, nice to meet you. And I'm, you know, I bought, I bought that, uh, that angel thing and I really liked it, blah, blah, blah. And I said, here you here's the um, video that you wanted for for the for uh, like what you asked for. I said I'll touch base with you in a couple of days. So I sent the breakfast pack. That's the guy you spoke to, and you wrote breakfast solution. So he said, hi Leone, after eleven or before three. So he gives me a time frame. I said, sure, okay. Then he says, I have to tell you, I'm not into a position. I'm not in a position to devote to E. What's E? To a multi level program. Anyway, so then I said, oh, no worries. I said, I'm just sending you information because of what you you um, you um asked about more energy. I said that. And then I said, there's a health talk tonight. So I invited him to the health talk. And then he says, I'm sorry, I will not review or commit to the E. I don't know, again, E for, for viewing this. I'm not into the, not doing this, like capital N-O-T. So he's really confusing because I said again, I'm just sending this to you just per your request on the form. And, uh, you know, so the way he was responding was kind of rude. So I said, okay. I well, no, you know what? I, I, the message I'm getting, the only, and just because I don't want it to go on about just about that. So first of all, he's had a bad experience with MLM and multi-level marketing. Okay. So this is the guy like, you spoke to. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, no, I'm not. That That's the message. That In that message, that's the message I'm getting. He's had a bad experience. He does not respect MLM or direct sales. So you can, you know, just, I would just drop it. Just, just leave it. Yeah. It. Cause I did not request a video, yeah. blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Meetings and repeated calls. You can't, he's so, got a, he's got blinders up because it's, it's direct selling. He's obviously but, had a bad experience and uh, there's nothing, nothing we can but do. What so. threw me off was he said, you can call me between this time and this time. So that's throwing me off. Please. He says that now he says this. So, you know, I don't know. Cause he, I but know probably I, after watching the video, he probably got, you know, two and two together. He's probably realized that we didn't are watch it yet. Him. All in that five uh, uh, few minutes that he replied, he didn't watch it yet. So okay. anyway, so I'm just going to, I was a little confused with the, the way he, he answered. I thought kind of rude too, but you know, so That's as okay. you say, yeah, even yeah, though someone can... asked, even though they ask about it, you really have to see what they're saying and maybe question. Mm -hmm. And if they have that kind of thing, then okay. I'll just say thank him. That's it. That's what I did. Just thank you. That's mm -hmm. it. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. but uh, yeah. Ashley right. has suggested that we, when people have um, a block against MLM or direct sales, you have to ask them, what's your experience? Yeah. What happened with an MLM? What happened? What's your experience? Because sometimes they're confusing it with the long past and it's not even an MLM. It's not 
-hmm. not direct sailing. It, it was, was a pyramid sale. So you mm -hmm. have to really clarify what was their problem with it. So yeah, because I wasn't talking to him. I just wrote so the note there. So I wasn't, I hadn't talked to him, but anyway. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so that's that's the thing, right? Uh, but and you're it, right. It, it, and if you want to continue the conversation, say, "Hey, are you okay for a quick call? I'd like to clarify what your concern, what you're, what you're, what you're concerned about." If 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 he's open, so just try. And if not, then mm -hmm. you've given it one last try, and then maybe find yeah. out. Just like Lynn said, ask him. Yeah. Right. And it goes yeah. back to what Jamie said. Remember, she prefaced the question with, "May I ask you? Mm -hmm. May I ask you?" Right. Yeah, it's a polite way to. Yeah. As you might say, nope. No, we're going to talk about it. Okay, fine. Yeah. Thank you very much for your time. Appreciate mm -hmm. your time. Yeah. Right? right. Just be polite, but ask yeah. for permission to ask. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Well, this is a great session tonight. I think this is definitely something you can go back and uh, back and review. And next Tuesday is our team huddle with um, Ashley and Stephen. So please let's yeah let's uh get as many people as we can tell the rest of the canadian team that it's a must uh, uh, uh you can't miss next tuesday because i think it's important we haven't talked to ashley and steve in a while and i think it'd be great to get some updates on what's mm. happening um in canada Joan? Yeah. it's steven's birthday today so i put on my profile if you can put happy birthday to him for after uh, the nine o'clock session i'm gonna go on Wish him happy birthday. Oh, yes, oh yes, great. Yes. yes. Oh, that's a great idea. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We actually tonight at nine, if we're all on, would be great to, to wish him a happy birthday for sure. The monkey awesome. Song. awesome. Awesome. Is that okay. right? The monkey song. Happy yeah. Monkey song. <laughs> Unfortunately, we can't share our screen when he's on that. Oh, right. On that. You know, does, yeah, the monkey that. song. Yeah. All right. Well, have a great night. And if anybody has anybody coming on at eight o'clock, I uh, will see you. We'll see you at eight o'clock. Okay. Thank Thanks. You. Bye. Bye, guys.